Hi, this is going to be my last video in my What to Expect series of videos. For me, I feel that this is the second most important video that I'm doing in that group of videos. The first one that I felt was very important was the first one that I did, talking about what it felt like to not have teeth. And for this one, I want to talk about what it feels like to wear dentures because it's something that's very difficult for people to prepare themselves for. You may see people who wear dentures who have worn dentures for a very long period of time and those people make it look effortless. They have been wearing dentures for quite some time and they are used to their normal. So they eat, they talk, they do everything and for a lot of people, you don't even know they have dentures in because they've worn them for so long that it just seems like they are a part of them. But it did not start out as being effortless. Just like you, they went through a learning phase and it was awkward and it felt weird and it wasn't effortless at all. All of us who start this journey go through the same things. When I first started wearing dentures, it'll be 16 years next week. And when I first started wearing dentures, it was not easy. I had to adjust the same that you are adjusting or that you will adjust once you get your dentures. And it was difficult. But at this point in time for me, after 16 years, I don't remember what life with teeth was like. I don't remember what it was like to have natural teeth. For me, my prosthetic teeth are my normal. This is what I'm used to, and I've been wearing them for a very long time, and it's my normal, but it wasn't always like this. When you first get your dentures, they are going to feel bulky and awkward, and there is going to be a weight to them that is very unexpected, because you don't have weight when you have teeth. That much I know, that much I remember, your teeth are just there and there's no weight to that. When you put a prosthetic in, there's now weight sitting on your jaw and over your gums and you can feel that heaviness at first. Even with my current dentures, the weight between my current dentures and the dentures that I had previously that I wore for 14 years, there was a difference in the weight, in the bulk, in the shape. When I put my new dentures in, in April of 2021, the difference was very overwhelming for me because the weight was different, the material is different, the shape, the amount of material that was covering my denture, my old dentures are much smaller than my current dentures are, and what was covered, it was just, it was very different. So I did go through that adjustment and for because of that, I can relate to what it's like memory-wise to when I first started wearing dentures because it would have been that same awkwardness to just suddenly have this weight and, and everything. But there are things that you're going to be surprised about because you're not going to expect them to feel that bulky or to feel that heavy. And it's it's a little different. You know, when you were a kid and you took those Halloween teeth and you put them over your natural teeth and they felt okay, this is not going to feel like that. Wearing dentures is not going to feel like that because they're not setting on top of your natural teeth. They are going to go so much lower and they are going to be your teeth. So it's a, it's a lot different in that aspect. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put my dentures in and just kind of explain what it feels like, what it, to have everything covered and just a couple of things that people don't often think about. So I'm going to go ahead and talk about that. I'm not going to put adhesive on my dentures. So for this, I'm going to go ahead and use my trick that I use. Well, a lot of people use for putting dentures in without adhesive. What helps is to make sure that your mouth is wet when you put your dentures in and when you have them in without adhesive, you want to make sure that you keep a drink on hand so you can periodically take a drink, kind of do a rinse and swish and kind of get that liquid underneath your dentures and then kind of bite down and get that suction going again. 
it helps a lot when you're wearing your dentures without adhesive. You want to take your denture, get it wet, put it in and hold it in place. That gets a section going. Now, you're going to notice something in a second. And that is going to be how the pitch of my voice changes when I put dentures, my dentures in. It does change that pitch because you now have something in your mouth that's covering those areas and it does change the pitch. You might notice a slight change in your voice and it may sound a little odd to you at first because there is a pitch difference. And I notice that every time I put my dentures in from when I'm doing videos and I'm talking and then I put my dentures in, I notice that my voice changes. So, okay, let's talk about what it feels like to have dentures in. So, they go all the way. Your dentures should go all the way down so everything is covered. Go all the way there. And then in the back, they go all the way to the ridge, to right where there's a bony ridge. I have a, a pretty, my, my bony ridge is pretty, substantial. So they go all the way back to there and the tongue muscles are well underneath. So I'm not, when I'm talking, I'm not popping my bottom denture up. And then my top goes all the way to here. I have to be careful not to press because then I'll pop my denture down, but they actually go all the way up. So all of that is covered. And it's quite high. And then the palette, which is, it's impossible to show you, but it goes all the way to the middle, right to right before the junction in between the hard and soft palette. And then I have the V for my frenulum, which for me, it's actually fairly wide, which I love. So I'm gonna show you when I take them out in a second. But, so all of that is covered, and you have to adjust to that, and you're going to have to adjust, because it feels a little odd when you first start wearing dentures, because everything is covered. Your tongue is going to feel like it doesn't have a lot of space, because suddenly there's something in there with your tongue. Your natural palate isn't quite as high anymore, because you have the palate of your denture, which is a little lower and your tongue is going to feel kind of claustrophobic initially. My tongue now, it feels normal. All of this is normal. It becomes muscle memory. Your muscles of your mouth adjust. It's not something that I think you consciously think about, at least I don't think, but I've been wearing dentures for so long that I don't remember if I ever consciously thought about the changes and then just kind of, I don't know. As time has gone on, it's become muscle memory. It's just what my muscles are used to doing. I can't tell you how I'm keeping my dentures in. My muscles are keeping my dentures in. I am doing nothing. I'm not thinking about it. I'm not doing anything. My muscles know what to do. And your muscles will learn over time how to keep your dentures in without adhesive. For people who get immediate dentures, you are going to not be able to use adhesive while your gums are healing. When they're still pretty raw and painful and all of that, you're not going to be able to use adhesive until you get the go ahead to use adhesive. And you're going to have to use adhesive for a little while, a little while in the grand scheme of things. So the first year to me is a little while. I've been wearing dentures for 16 years. That first year was a little while in the time that I've been wearing dentures. So when you are wearing dentures if you have immediate dentures and you're wearing them during that first say six to twelve months most people it's nine to twelve months in that time frame that little while of time that you're wearing the immediates your gums are going to be shrinking so you're going to need to use adhesive or cushion grip something like that so that you can keep your dentures in 
while you're going through all of those changes. If you don't have immediate dentures, then when you get your dentures, they'll your, be your permanent dentures and your gums will be healed. You may still opt to use adhesive initially and then kind of wean yourself off of using adhesive. I personally don't need to wear adhesive. My dentures fit very snugly, but I choose to wear adhesive because I like that extra sense of security. So I do use adhesive, but I don't need adhesive. I can eat without adhesive. Something that I've had to teach myself because with my first pair of dentures, I could not have eaten without adhesive. They did not fit right, right from the start. And I know that now with all the things that I know. So anyway, muscle memory does come into play over time. And I'm gonna go back to what I was going to show you. So I was talking about the V where my frenulum is, and I'm gonna go ahead and take my dentures out because I wanna show you what my old dentures look like with that fren frenulum. When you get your dentures, make sure that they make sure, um, no, make sure that they make that part, that V, wide. You want to make sure that it's wide enough for your frenulum, and I'm going to show you why. This is what that V for my frenulum looks like. It's pretty wide, and... It's wide enough. Well, my old denture, which I'm not putting in, they've been sitting in water for a year and a half, and I don't know what's living on them. So I'm not gonna put them in, but I'm going to show you what that frenulum looked like, and it was terrible. Also, I don't know if you can tell, but my palette is very deep on these. Not on my old dentures. My old dentures, my palette is actually very, very shallow. And this is what my frenulum, that little spot for my frenulum look like. It was so, it is so narrow that when I would put, so I don't know how well I can see up close with my glasses. So there you go. And it's very, very closely spaced. I would put this denture in and my frenulum would get stuck in there and because I used adhesive it would get stuck and I would be walking around for like a while going kind of like a dog with peanut butter out the roof of their mouth I would kind of be trying to loosen the frenulum so that it would break free from that little narrow spot it was never comfortable it was it was very uncomfortable most of the time because it just it was too close I like the new ones because it's they're wider so you want to make sure that that V is is wider. Oh, what else? When you start wearing dentures, you're going to have to teach yourself how to talk because your tongue now has this space that it's going to have to adjust to. So it's going to have to adjust to that. So forming words may be a little challenging because you're going to have to accommodate for that space that your tongue now is going to have to adjust to. And then eating is also going to be a little bit different and challenging because you're going to have to learn how to chew. You didn't have to think about chewing before when you had your natural teeth. You just chewed. Something you've been doing since you were an infant, you were used to it. Now, you have prosthetics and you're going to have to get used to moving them and controlling them. And that's gonna be a little tricky at first. You wanna, and I've talked about this in other videos, you wanna do the split divide chew with your tongue. With your tongue, you wanna split your food and have divide it to both sides of your denture, dentures so that it's even. When you don't use adhesive, that's very, very important because as long as it's even, you're not gonna rock your dentures. With or without adhesive, you want to do that because, and even with your adhesive, if your adhesive doesn't have a, a very strong, solid hold, especially during that healing phase, you don't want to rock your dentures, even with adhesive on. So you want to make sure that things are even, and you also want to chew on both sides so that you're not wearing one side of your denture down. You also want to make sure that you are using your tongue to judge if your food is chewed or not. That is very important. And even at this point, at almost 16 years next week, that 
in my time that even I sometimes chew too, I eat quickly and I'm not paying attention and I don't make sure that my food is chewed. You can choke. So you wanna make sure, and I'm not saying that to scare you, I'm just letting you know because that's important to know. So you wanna make sure that you are using your tongue to gauge if your food is chewed. That's very, very important. So you'll learn how to do that. Your tongue will pick it up and it'll become a memory, a muscle memory, something that it just knows to do. And you won't think about it when you're eating. Initially, you might have to think about it, but over time, you will not think about it. I do not think about it when I eat. I actually just stop and think when I made videos, how do I eat, how do I chew, how do I do those things, how do I taste food, because it's not anything that I think about. So tasting, that's another thing you're going to have to teach yourself how to taste food again. With your hard palate covered, it's kind of a mind trick. It feels like you're not going to be able to taste because your hard palate's covered. The hard palate actually has the least amount of taste buds and receptors on it. The soft palate has more than the hard palate. The junction in between the hard and soft palate has the most taste receptors than any other place on the palate, and the hard palate has the least. But because it's covered and it's where your food first touches, it feels like that's where you taste the most. It is not. Your tongue has the most of the taste buds. So you want to make sure when you're eating that you let your food linger on your tongue for just a little bit and then do a swish with the saliva so that it touches your cheeks where we also have taste buds and receptors. Push your food up to your soft palate so that it touches your soft palate and then hold that saliva and even just a little bit of the chewed food just kind of at the back of your throat so that it sits on the epiglottis. The epiglottis is that little trap door that prevents food from going into your windpipe. So it has taste buds and receptors on it. Also, the upper part of our esophagus has taste receptors. All of these things you will learn how to use and it will become muscle memory, just things that you know to do when you're eating that you don't think about. But initially, there are things you kind of have to just kind of put a little bit of thought into and over time, it becomes much easier. When you're drinking, it's the same. You wanna take a sip of whatever you're drinking, do kind of a swish so that it touches your cheeks, and then push that up to your soft palate and touch that and let it linger on your tongue and let it just set at the back of your throat on that epiglottis. And then you will be able to taste what you're eating or drinking. These are just little tricks that you'll pick up and over time, it'll just be what you're used to, what your mind is used to, and you won't even think about it. But it is a little bit of an adjustment, but you will adjust. It's just gonna take a little bit of practice, and one day, you're going to be like me. You are not gonna remember what it was like to have teeth, and wearing your prosthetic teeth is going to be your normal. Will it ever feel like your regular teeth? No. Will it feel normal? Yes. And I'm gonna go ahead and go because this is a little bit longer than I wanted it to be. And I will talk to you later. I do hope that this video helps with preparing you and giving you a general idea of what to expect when you start wearing dentures. And I will talk to you later.